Welcome back. The story of a steak. So what does it take to get a steak from the ranch to the consumer? Well, last week we learned about the comprehensive herd health program at the V Ranch in Thermopolis, Wyoming. This week in this informational segment brought to you by our friends at Merck Animal Health and High Plains Journal, we take a closer look at the ranch's preconditioning program and how the ranch successfully weans and transport calves from the ranch to the feed yard. It's weaning day on the V Ranch near Thermopolis, Wyoming. It's a day that marks a multi-year commitment to producing the best calves by using the best genetics, the best management, and the best herd health practices. 15 years ago, owners Jim and Terry Wilson started working closely with their veterinarian Dan Miller to build a comprehensive herd health program with the goal of building reputation cattle. That's helped to build demand for V Ranch calves and delivered more value for both the ranch and Knight Feed Yard, where the ranch's calves are fed. The relationship with Knight Feed Yard has also created an information sharing loop for continuous improvement. 25. So the end user or the end product person stays in contact with Jim and he'll say, hey, we had a lot of sick ones or we had no sickness, we like what you're doing, we're coming back and buying your cattle again. And that reflects on Jim and it reflects on me as well. In the last couple years, I think we've had six tenths of one percent death loss. Well, that tells me that uh, the vaccination, uh, nutrition, the way we handle the cattle, uh, just like today when we got them up here and, and had the wet crowds, the, the, the cattle left here and uh, from the time we got in the crowd, they were gone in three hours. So they'll be in Kansas and be on feed and those cattle will walk off uh, and go right to the tank and drink. And they'll, they'll come off that truck and probably one of the best medicines that they can have is a big drink of water. As we discussed in last week's segment, the V Ranch's commitment to calf preconditioning begins with a focus on the cow herd vaccinations, nutrition, and deworming. But preconditioning is really about the calf and ensuring the health, performance, and quality of that calf once it leaves the ranch. Research shows that preconditioned calves often command premiums in the marketplace because they have less sickness and death loss, but better performance and high quality carcasses. The V Ranch's preconditioning program begins in the spring when calves get their first round of vaccinations at branding. But they're given a four-way viral program at branding IBR, PI3, BRSV, and then they're um, also doing a, a seven-way clostridium with Haemophilus, and we do have Haemophilus in this area, and uh, it gives them good protection through the summer. I'd like those calves uh, at least 40 days old. Their immune system is a little more mature. Um, the older the calf, the more mature the immune system is, can respond to the vaccine better. But there is also a window there. You don't want that calf uh, coming down with something prior to being immunized. The following fall, 19 to 21 days prior to weaning, the Wilsons then follow up with a second booster round of the same vaccinations. And when the weaning day finally arrives, the Wilsons gather the cows and calves together, weigh and load, all in less than three hours. The calves are then transported to the next phase in the gate to plate process, Night Feed Yard in Kansas. Well, Jim doesn't want to ship any calves prior to getting sick. And then on arrival, they already have the immunity in them. The immunity showed up with the calf. I sent an envelope today with the trucks on what these calves were vaccinated with and when they got it. And I think uh, our program has worked so well that a, that a lot of the lots call back and say, what did you do? When I, when I make a contact to sell cattle, one of the first questions they ask, what's the vaccination program? This is a record of all the vaccinations the animals have had, and we're transferring it onto the feed yard so they can tell what they've had and do the corresponding work that needs to be done. Next week, we'll continue the story of the steak. We'll travel to Knight Feed Yard to hear from Kenny Knight on how the V Ranch calves are performing in the feed yard. For the Angus Report, I'm Doug Medlock. 
This segment of the Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health and High Plains Journal. To watch this segment again or to read more about the V Ranch and its herd health practices, visit storyofasteak.com. Thanks for watching. At Merck Animal Health, we are dedicated to improving the health and well-being of animals through innovative science-based solutions, products, treatments, and services to ensure a dependable, affordable food supply. From cattleman to consumer, from farm to family, we're with you every step of the way. We work where you work. What drives you drives us. It's your livelihood and our responsibility.